Greenfix is a consultant and operations maintenance provider for agribusiness applications, now being built in the desert southwest. We understand the complexities agribusiness owners face when looking to solar as a reliable, economical energy source. By utilizing the Greenfix network and our partner companies, you have the resources to take your project from concept to completion. We're out here today discussing uh, solar with uh, Paul Hestere of Belk Farms. Um, we've just installed a, a new tracking system that is manufactured by Green Vaults. Um, this type of system is going to change the way that electricity is generated and used by uh, agriculture. Uh, what we plan on is having the agricultural community to uh, wrap their hands around the, the new technology and be able to take this and show the world what agriculture can do for the sake of uh, being green and being environmentally friendly at the same time as growing their produce. Um, so Paul, what do you think of what we've done here as a demonstration? This is an impressive uh, facility. I'm, I'm wondering if you can just tell me how it is that uh, we'll be able to utilize this for our farming operation. What will this do at our pump station? Well, what we do is we actually generate enough energy in a year that can supply your pump with the amount of energy that it consumes. Then that pump will not have to be supplied buy energy from fossil fuel or nuclear or generation stations that are thousands of miles away. You're actually producing the energy from the sun. The sun is actually growing the produce and the irrigation is being supplied by the energy from this system directly from the sun locally. This, uh, the Coachella Valley has been known a long time for being one of the industry leaders in terms of technology for our irrigation systems, for the crops that we produce. We've jokingly said we've been solar since the day we planted those things. But this, is, uh, this has got us excited uh, because it's here. Uh, but one of the things we're wondering about is that so often we're so rural that a lot of times we're not getting the power that we need. And how does that help solve our solution here at the end of the, uh, end of the distribution system? With rural distribution systems, um, typically the utilities have had a hard time providing quality and reliability on end-of-line feeds, as what they're called. Um, that is just a fact of life for rural uh, distribution systems because of the infrastructure cost. In a city where the infrastructure is all integrated and you can actually provide uh, ring feeds, the voltage that is available to supply the energy is quite consistent. When you get out here, what you do is you have these radial feeds where you may be on the end of a line and the voltage can, can dip depending on the amount of load that is on at a certain period in time. That affects your motors. You could have burnt out motors. Uh, lots of equipment get affected by those issues, uh, reliability and quality issues. You also have outages that can take a long time for crews to uh, be available to put the power back. What these systems do on the end of line of these feeders is provide support for that voltage so that everybody else on the line actually receives a reasonable amount of voltage from the utility. So in, in a way, this is actually helping the utility and the farmer in the agricultural communities. Well, I think you're probably understating. <laughs> At times, we've had some critical downtimes. We're pumping irrigation. We've got perishable commodities out here, and there's times we have to have water. And you're right. There are times when a, a system goes down, a motor gets burned up, and it gets, it gets very difficult for us. So if that helps solve that problem for us, that'll be really exciting. Um, we had looked into other applications like this, and, and I, I'm frankly really surprised at the amount of space we didn't have to give up. Um, some of the other systems we looked at have been so large, we thought, well, we want that ground in production. So can you explain how it is that we get by with all this power with only, what, 100 by 40 feet of space used up here? 
One of the key uh, fundamentals of the technology that we're using in terms of concentrated photovoltaics and the reason why it uses less space than normal uh, photovoltaics is because it actually tracks the sun and concentrates the sun's energy onto a smaller semiconductor. So by doing that we produce uh, probably 50% more energy per square meter and that enables us to reduce the size of the area that is used. Um, one of the other factors that we have in our favor is that we've actually um, looked at this area in Coachella Valley where there is particular room for these systems quite close to their load which is a huge benefit and typically uh, where it is close to the load there is a little bit of land that is available for these systems that is sort of being used for other reasons but can be used for this purpose so it, it sort of benefits both. No, it, it looks good to us. It's right next to the reservoir, it's right next to the roadway, and we didn't have to give up a, a lot of crop uh, production down, so that, that's been good. So we've got, uh, we're hoping to see reduced costs because we're going to get cleaner power, we're not going to be burning up as many motors. We certainly didn't use up as much space as some of the other applications. And then, and then uh, we're excited about, at least you're telling us, that we're going to have a reduced cost over a certain period of time. So could you explain why that's an advantage to us as a farmer? For sure. Um, one of the key benefits of what we are intending on providing to the farmer is a long-term stable price for his energy that he can budget and know that this is the amount of cost per year for this electricity. He doesn't have to rely on a utility on a month-to-month -month basis uh, and on rate increases that may or may not happen. So what this does is provide stability in his budgeting process for that electricity. One of the other key advantages that we're providing beyond the uh, stable power price is ability for this uh, technology that we've installed to be distributed, the information to be distributed back to the farmer and providing him with the information about how his energy use is being uh, monitored. Also the potential of bringing information regarding the pump and the uh, filtration system and the chemical injection system, we're anticipating being able to bring that information back as well through our communication system back to the farm and providing a bit more farm management, not just the uh, energy management. That's great. What are what's our responsibilities as a farmer having this on our site? What are we going to have to do to take care of this? Well, the farmer has really very little responsibility in terms of the operations and maintenance and liability. What we've done is we've packaged up an agreement that provides the farmer with a sort of a hands-off approach that he receives his energy, um, he knows that we will be there to service the equipment and make sure that the energy is provided. He also is covered in terms of liability. We provide all the insurance available for him. We also try to maintain as much of a, a non-invasive uh, approach to operations and maintenance. These systems are very, very low maintenance. So in terms of per year, we probably see uh, coming out at the most six times a year uh, in terms of maintenance for an issue. So really, we are not going to be in the way of the farmer or require him to do anything um, that would put him at uh, increased cost. Am I going to have to keep an eye on it and, and make sure that everything's working properly? or? Your monitoring going to take care of all that for us? The monitoring in itself takes care of um, whether it is actually producing the right amount of energy instantly from the amount of sun that's available. We have a weather station that monitors the humidity, the wind direction, um, the wind speed. We have a, a rain gauge. We also have a video camera that monitors the system and that it is operating effectively and as a security measure because we're out here in the middle of nowhere um, 
and we'd like to know if the system is being vandalized or if there is any other issues. And but we've we've actually looked at areas and probably Coachella is a, is a very good area in terms of being uh, a stable from a stable situation for a security basis. Yeah, we haven't had many problems out here. It's oh. been it's been nice. Well, I'll tell you, Peter, we're really excited. This really fits with what we do as a farming operation. Um, It'll be interesting to see what it means to our customers when they find out that we're using solar power to generate some of our energy. And uh, we'll just, we're excited to see this in place and to see what might happen with it. But everything you've told us looks awfully good to us right now. Well, we're, we're really excited for this to be the first of many installations. And we think it's a revolution. Um, it's both an evolution, a revolution, and a, a whole new exciting era for the agricultural community. And it's nice to see Belt Farms being the, the premier uh, innovator of this new technology. Well, let's see if it works. That's great. Thank you. Thank you, Paul.